Oh my gosh, I've gotten so many requests from people on how to make flour tortillas at home. And I think it's even easier than making corn tortillas. All you need to do is mix flour with water, lard, a little salt. So I have four cups of flour, a teaspoon of salt, and I know the flour tortillas are inherently sweet, so that's why we need to add a little bit of salt to make them a little bit more savory. And then we have two thirds of a cup of lard. Now this is a traditional way to make flour tortillas. Lard is what really gives the flavor to the flour tortilla. It's gonna make all the dough bind together and it's gonna give it elasticity and it's gonna make it soft. If you don't wanna use lard, you can use vegetable shortening. And I'm gonna add a cup of lukewarm water. So you don't want it too hot, you don't want it too cold. And then we're just gonna start kneading. We're gonna make it come together. I love making all kinds of dough, but the dough for flour tortilla, it's especially delicious because it is so soft. You have to knead it a lot and it's very sticky on your hands, but the more you knead it, the more it comes together and it comes away from your hands. And you have to continue kneading because then you're gonna feel the dough after it pulls away from your hands and sticks together in a ball, it's still gonna feel very, very dense and sticky. That's when you take it out of the bowl and you knead it in your countertop and you add a little bit of flour. This is very easy. I think people get very apprehensive about making these Mexican cooking basics like flour tortillas or corn tortillas. You need to give yourself the time and the space to try it and to give yourself the time and the space to play with it. And once you nail it, you own it and it's yours and you will forever and ever be making phenomenal flour tortillas, but don't do it in a hurry. And now you can see it's really, really elastic, see? So it went from dense to very smooth to very, very elastic and soft. As I'm kneading it, I don't feel any lumps whatsoever. So this is when you know you need to stop. And you wanna keep on going because it just feels really nice and it's so soft, but you really don't need to keep on going anymore. So the dough is ready. This is such nice dough. And then out of this batch, we're gonna get 16 tortillas. So I have a baking sheet and I'm gonna add some flour. Now I have the dough, I'm gonna split it in half until I get 16 portions. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, we're done. Okay, <laughs> so once you have the 16 portions, you just make, you just roll them into little balls. So we're gonna let these rest between 20 and 30 minutes so that all of the ingredients that we needed in the dough can come together. They're gonna make beautiful, tortillas, and it does make a difference if you let it rest. So I have these balls of dough that I made earlier, and now this is gonna be very easy because we're just gonna roll them out with a rolling pin. You don't need to use a tortilla press. So I'm just gonna flour my countertop. I'm gonna flour my rolling pin a little bit. And now here's the important thing about the flour tortillas. Your comal or griddle or skillet, whatever you're using, which can be anything, but if it's non-stick, even better. It has to be preheated, and it has to be preheated over low heat, because these are delicate. And then I'm gonna roll these out. And because you're not using a tortilla press, they're not gonna be perfectly round, and it doesn't matter. Why do you need to use a rolling pin and not a tortilla press? Because the dough for the flour tortillas needs to be rolled. It has to be thin, really, really thin as paper. So you wanna stop when you can see your face. You can, can you see my face? 
Okay, if you can see my face through the tortilla, then I did a good job. See? You can see my hand through the tortilla, and you can totally tell when you're rolling it. And then you just put it on your already heated comal or griddle or skillet, and then you wait until you start seeing bubbles on top. This is really fun, come see. Because you can see all the bubbles starting to form with the air pockets. And, see, then you flip the tortilla when it starts getting freckled. And you can see all the freckles, like I'm full of freckles. Like the tortilla is full of freckles. And then once you flip it, it's gonna really puff. So you can see all the different puffs. Mm, 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 mm. And you want the tortilla to really puff because that's how you know that the tortilla is cooking over, under, and in between, and it's gonna be a very soft tortilla, and this is exactly what you want. And I am so happy that I can show you exactly what you want. When you've made your first perfectly made flour tortilla, and it's all puffed and beautiful, and it smells toasty, this is what you need to do. You take the tortilla off, you run and get some butter, And you run and get a knife. And ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you spread some butter. Oh, see how it's melting all over it? Mmm. You sprinkle some salt. And you roll it up. See how malleable and soft it is? soft and so delicious mm. it's a little bit sweet but because we added salt it's like perfectly balanced it's just so soft so this is what you do you eat some and you share some <laughs> what do you think Kev? worth it definitely worth it mm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's the salt. Mmm. 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 Mmm.